Hello and welcome back to Age of Engineering and my name's CJ. Now where we last left off in the last episode then, we just finished getting through the forestry, uh, part of the forestry mods. So we've now got up and running uh, a carpenter with just water in for when we need to make circuits and a carpenter with seed oil in uh, for when we need to make other items for forestry. Uh, we've also got the squeezer as well to process that seed oil and we've also got a th thermionic fabricator as well for generating copper electron tubes. Right now what we're going to be moving on to today then as I said we're going to be using forestry to improve the tree farm that we have running. Now this is going to be a greatly larger tree farm and we may also be, ab be able to set it up to farm multiple trees. Now, I'll just quickly show you what it is then that we're going to be making today. If I can spell forestry right. Now what we're going to be making is these farm blocks and I'm going to be using stone bricks for mine as well. As you can see it differs. You can use mossy stone, cracked stone, bricks, smooth sandstone, chiseled sandstone and you have all those different options but if you were to use this one you would have to use the same ones all the way through the build even for the extension after you've built the multi block structure. So what I'm going to need then, I am going to need 36 of these in total which take 10 electron tubes and 10 electron tubes are the following. So we're going to need 36, 36 by 4 that is 5, uh, 8, alright so that is going to be uh, nine times f uh, of we're going to need a nine recipes run through here so we can get nine of those ten electron tubes so I'm going to quickly go and do I'm going to grab the ten and the redstone and then we'll get back up there and get that started uh, right so we need the redstone ingots and we're going to need 18 of those and we're also going to need some 10 and we've got everything else that we require up there or we should have at least all right so pop those in and those in and then we'll set it up to make us some 10 electron tubes and we'll just pop that in there and let that process <clears throat> what it's going to do first then, it's going to warm up the clear glass to turn that into liquid glass. I'm not too sure if it does waste any of the glass, so I've just left it in there for now, which is not a problem at all. Alright, now I'm just going to let that craft them up. I believe I do have to pull them out each time, so just quickly stand here. And as you can see, it does operate relatively quickly. And there we go, we've got our 36. And we can just clear that recipe out of there. Let me just take those. Right, so now we've got our 10 uh, electron tubes. I'm just going to grab the other materials. So as you can see, it's copper ingots, stone bricks, and then any type of slab. So I'll be back as soon as I've got those 36 blocks. Right, I've got those 36 farm blocks. Now, what we are also going to need to craft up is a farm gearbox and also... Uh, a farm hatch and that's for inserting and extracting from the farm and we will also need a farm valve which is to supply the farm with water which I've also created a fluid collector so we'll use that automated process to keep it constantly topped up with water so as you can see then I'm gonna need to craft up some 10 gears and 10 gears are made with steel, compo uh, steel components so we're gonna need to make three of those uh, so I'm going to need three copper and then we'll just grab a handful of steel. So the first thing we'll need is those and I'm going to make those three. Let's pop that steel back and grab the tin. And then we need to make the ten gears. So we've got us three ten gears and then it's a simple case of building the farm gearbox. And the next one on the list is the hatch. 
So the hatch requires a wooden trapdoor, two more 10 gears. I should have just crafted a few of those. So let me just grab my steel. Where did I pop that? There we go. And we need two for that. And do we need any for their farm valve? Uh, we need one for the farm valve, so we're just going to need three all together. Let me just quickly craft up those gears. Uh, well, I wanted to do more than one. Let's try again. And then uh, just turn them into ten gears. Right now, we're going to need a wooden hatch. Uh, here's me forgetting I'll create a hatch, a wooden trap door, and needed another two, you idiot. And there we go, we've got his trap door. We only need one of those. Uh, I will pop one away. I still, knowing me, I'll mistakenly make two hatches. So, yeah, we need a farm hatch from stone bricks. And then for the valve. It is simply two pieces of glass, a ten gear, and one of your farm blocks. So I'll just get two pieces of glass, and we'll make our hatch, uh, our valve. Sorry, right, there is another block called the farm controller, but that's so you can turn it on and off with a redstone signal. But we are going to be creating this, so it will just be automatically running all the time. Uh, what I'm going to do now then, I'm just going to cut away while I take away all this one and then I'll be back as soon as we're ready to set up the new farmer. So I'll be right back. Right, this is going to be roughly the area that it is going to cover. I've just marked it out. It will be dug lower down, down in the ground though. Uh, this does need to be four blocks high to the surface. Uh, so let's get digging away right so i've got the area dug out then it's just a case of taking down the guidelines because we're gonna maybe need these blocks anyway well i wish they'd stop creeping up on me that's twice now i've had one creep up behind me let me grab that in fact it'd probably be easier to do these from the top Including that one and just get these last few over here and then we'll get started obviously I can decorate it and make it all look a bit more prim and proper as I go along right so first of all then uh, we are actually going to want to sort out our water source block right so I'm gonna want this pulling up at this point so I'll drop down one more take our fluid collector and we'll place the fluid collector there block of andesite aren't really bothered block of granite chuck that in there as well and it doesn't really matter where this one goes we just need to create a, a water so a constant water source down here uh, so let me just get my water out. Right, so place one there and one there, and that will now start gradually grabbing water as it goes on. Uh, now pop that away. And we can simply just cover this hole over it. That's not a problem at all. Right, so first things first then, we'll take the farming blocks. So as I said, it's going to be a 3x3, three three, but at the bottom, we're going to want... I want the valve in the middle because that should pump straight into there. As you can see, that is now full of water ready. That's another one that's crept up on me. I'm so glad we have. Uh, I'm so glad we have these claim chunks. Otherwise, it'd be a nightmare. And right now, I've got the hatch. I want the hatch on this side and then the gearbox this side for the power. And then it's just a case of building it up four high. So there's two. 
and then put in these last blocks and when you place the last one you'll know it's right because this band will appear around and now you can enter the GUI of the of, of the farmer right now what I'm gonna do then we've got as water automatically pumping in so we know that that's working perfectly fine what it does need to pump into it as well is going to be fertilize it so we are going to want an inline pipe I'm probably going to have that right here pushing straight into there and then have another pipe pulling out over this way leading back to the chest that we had before and that does also mean that I can now fill up this hole and I don't like unfilled holes so we'll get that one nice and packed up uh, my OCD does go a little cranky I can't leave gaps and that is bob on right and just make that step for us to get out now what we will need to extend the base then you have to use the same block so we built these blocks out of stone bricks so you have to extend it using stone bricks and what you do you'd come out one two three four five six seven and then you build a three and you do that on all four sides and then basically you connect them along the diagonal Ooh, I haven't taken that block out there then you'd connect them along the diagonal and then you would just fill in that entire floor space all at this height so it'd be one block below the top height of the farmer so I'm just going to fill that in quickly and then I'll come right back to it right so I've just connected it up with the laser wires just to power it it's got the water being provided in from underneath and uh, now as I said then we will want a chest here just pulling directly in so we can feed specific items that it requires in to them uh, into the machine and then I'll just take out this here and then what we're gonna have is we're gonna have another one on here it's going to have a part that comes out here but we are going to disconnect those there and we're going to disconnect that there and then it's just going to be a case of leading this all the way back across uh, to our other pipe now the question is will I have enough transfer pipe let's hope so Uh, yes, I do. I've got more than enough. I've got three pieces left, so we'll have to make some more of that as well in between episodes. Right, so we've got that all packed up. Now, what this will need putting into it then is going to be dirt, saplings, and also fertilizer from forestry. Now, we do have some fertilizer made. I also will require to make some more. And there's a few ways of making the fertilizer. You can either use appetite. Uh, you can either use appetite and sand oh I just fell down the hole uh, if you noticed as well when I hit the floor then I didn't take any damage but I aren't wearing my bounce boots these rubber boots actually do prevent fall damage as well with no added bounce so they are quite useful to be honest right that PA wrench we don't need that now right let's pop down here let me just eat some broccoli Got to eat your greens, can't do no running if I haven't got my greens. Right, now, appetite, where are you? There's the fertiliser I currently have, let's take that there. Right, now, fertiliser, there's two recipes, as I said, you can appetite and sand, and that gives you eight pieces, but if you use the ash from one piece of appetite, you get 16 fertilisers, so we're going to use as much of the ash as possible. Right, now, that should be ample amounts for now. That, that is more than enough, unless I do have any more ash anywhere. Do I have any in here? Ash, ash, ash. I have got absolutely loads of ash. 
and I believe I've even got more than that in appetite. I've got some in that processor, and I've got blocks of appetite here. So we've got plenty to make fertilizer from. And there we go. That I believe that is the max I can make with all the ash that I've got. So we'll have to make some more peat uh, for the peat-fired gens. I believe I've got some peat I need to put in up there, but I also will need to make some more so we can get even more of that ash. I may even make a path that actually comes off. I might make the stairs start from here so they're internal stairs that lead down into here. But I'll do that in between episodes. That's not a problem at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop all that in there. And we should see that that should start filling up. The water's filled up. The fertilizer's filled up. All we're waiting on now is our saplings. And also... Dirt. But one thing we are going to go over as well quickly. As I said, I do want to set this up so that it doesn't just farm trees alone. I want it to also farm rubber trees. Now, the way that you set this up does mean that we're going to need to craft an intricate circuit board. And an intricate circuit board is made in the carpenter with water using four redstone ingots, two gold ingots, and then some analyzed circuits so let me just grab those items so we want two of those four of those and then i believe it was the gray circuits and if i'm not mistaken it was one of those one of those and one of those, if I am mistaken, I can quickly just run back and get the correct one. But I think that is right. And then we'll come over to here. And we'll click there. And there. And yeah, I did get the right ones. So leave that there and that will craft us one of them. We're also going to need a soldering iron, which is also something else crafted in the carpenter, which is going to require three steel and one bronze. So I'll just get uh, three steel, sorry, three iron and one bronze. I'm just going to collect those items now. So we just want one block of bronze and three iron ingots. And we go back up. And that is now created. That's fine. Let's raise all that out of there. And then we want that, 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 and that. And plunk those in there. Right, now, the next thing that we're going to require then, we've already got some copper electron tubes. We're going to require three of those, uh, because basically how they work... Uh, where are those copper electrons? There they are. Basically how these work, uh, a copper one will set it to... Um, an automatic farm. See where it says automatic at the bottom? It says Arbi Arbitum, which is basically for tree farming. And um, there's also one for rubberized, which does rubber tree farms. Now we are going to need to make one of these, which means we're going to have to craft one of these. So I'm just going to get the rubber required. Uh, so we need five rubber and two more redstone ingots. And we actually have five rubber there. That's brilliant. And we only need one of these. Obviously, it is going to craft two, so we are going to have one spare, but that's not a problem. Maybe if we do want to expand a farm at some point, we can do that process then. Uh, and place those there. And then finally, the thickened glass there. Now, we'll just wait for that to process. It's just getting up to temperature before it can melt some of this glass. So it does waste glass. I've now, I've just worked that out. It does waste the glass because once it's cooled, that liquid glass is gone. Uh, but you can store it there and it doesn't draw it in automatically. And that actually created four. I thought the recipe said it only created two, but that, that's even better if it is crafting four. Let me just check that recipe again. Oh yeah, it does say four, so I just missed that. And we only need one of those because I want more uh, wood than I do the rest. Right, so take a soldier, 
let me just erase that out of there and you right click with desolder it and this brings up this GUI now we want to set it to an automatic form uh, which direction are we facing and now we're facing north that's brilliant so for the northern side then whoop, not electrical engine automatic form on the northern side it will place an Hmm. Ah, that's only for manual plantations. Now that was something I am I wasn't quite aware of. Now that does mean that, that will not benefit us for this farm. Uh, so for now we can actually just leave the farm as it is set up, but that is something that we can use at a later date to make a manual farm uh, possibly make one to manually gather fruits from trees and then have one corner for the rubber so we will probably set up a secondary one of these farms but that's not a problem we does mean we have got the items now when needed well no you don't little dude uh, bear with me one second I'm just gonna smash his teeth in hey up bud <laughs> Right, let me just pop down here then. So the last thing that it required then is dirt, saplings, and fertilizer. And let me guess. Ha, huh, never thought of that. It's just going to keep sucking the fertilizer. And what I'll do then, I'll pop these in manually. So basically, it would be your dirt down this side. As you can hear, it's planting that dirt now. Let's keep that nice and topped up. And then we'll take these saplings and will it automatically? Yeah, I was just going to say it should automatically allow us to chuck those straight in. Uh, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to keep that date and those down here just in case I do want to change things around. But if we've got the top now, you can see that it's turned all this into fertile soil and is now planting on them. And that will start to grow the trees, collect the trees. No need for an axe, so no need to make an indestructible axe that uh, actually mines rather slow. Its mining speed is 0.51, so it made that farm even less reliable. And this will just automatically produce wood for us and at a, a faster rate as well. See, it's already grown one there. Balance, please as we lay rest to progressive automation. We set forth a nice little monument as a reminder, a memorial of when we wasted diamond after diamond to create not one, but two useless, slow, unresourceful items, including all the upgrades and unbreakable tools and now we lay rest to the whole lot. Thank God. <laughs> and that is going to do it for today. Uh, as you can see as well, I had done some more decorating in between episodes. We've now got a nice wall of glass so we can watch as the process of our cactuses grow and fall down into our collection device. I've also encased all of this in glass. You can still activate the chests. I did have it filled in completely, but there was things I wanted to grab in and out of these at some point. So I had to sort out another way of going around that. But other than that, thank you very much for your time today. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. And if you'd like to see more upcoming videos from myself, then please feel free to subscribe for daily notifications. Thank you. Goodbye.